In this tutorial, we're going to learn a couple of ways to manipulate multilists. This tutorial builds on the previous tutorials on multilists, so be sure to watch those before starting this one. In the first example, we'll see how to map multilist elements at certain locations, or paths, to elements at different locations in the multilist. The goal is to create pipes between points on a rectangular grid, like in the sample file called Mapping. In a new SketchUp file, open the Viz window and start with a rectangular grid node. The default grid size is one unit wide by two units high, with four cells along the width and eight cells along the height. Connect a preview node to the point's output. The resulting 45 grid points are laid out as a two-dimensional multilist, a list of list of points. So that mapping later will be simpler, Add a deepen multilist node and connect it to the grid points. Connecting another preview shows that each of the 45 points now has a four element path instead of three as before. The deepened paths have the format 0, 0, x, y. To remove one set of redundant zeros, connect a simplify multilist node to the deepened list. Adding another preview shows that the paths are now 0xy, a bit simpler than before. Add a point list node and connect it to the simplified multilist. Then change the display mode from position to path. Now we want to add lines between grid points, which will be used later to create the pipes. For this, we'll need to map points to other points and these points will be used as the start and end points of the lines. Choose Multilist Map Multilist and connect the simplified multilist output as the multilist to map. To define how the mapping will be done, choose Input, Generic Input, and connect this node to the mapping expression input. Now the Map Multilist node will map points from this list based on the expression we enter here. Double-click on the generic input node and enter this expression. This means that an element in the input multilist with the path A, B, C, I gets mapped to A, B plus 1, C plus 1 in the output multilist. For example, this point with path 0, 0, 1 gets mapped to 0, 1, 2. To see how this mapping looks physically, Add a line node, and for the first point of each line, connect the multilist. For the end point of each line, connect the mapped multilist. Now there is a diagonal line from each point. There are no new lines along these edges of the grid because the endpoints for these lines don't exist in the current grid. For the second line that will be drawn from the grid points, edit the generic input node to contain a second expression. Now for each point in the multilist, there are two lines added. Turning off the grid preview makes this easier to see. To create the pipes along each line, choose Shape, Circular Pipe, and connect the line output as the rail input. Change the radius to a small value such as 0.01. Add a shell sync node to bring the pipe network into SketchUp. Now I can change the original grid, which updates the network of pipes. In the second example, we'll see how to selectively remove elements of a multilist based on an expression. Start again with a rectangular grid and add a filter multilist node. Connect the grid points as the list to filter. The filter condition expression can be set here in the C attribute. This node has two sets of output, true and false. Connect a preview to each of these. True multilist contains the elements of the input multilist for which the condition expression attribute in the filter multilist node evaluates to true, and a null value is assigned to all other elements. 
False multilist contains the elements of the input multilist for which the condition expression evaluates to false. With the current condition expression, the points that are part of the true multilist must have an I value of 0 and a C value of 0. This only applies to the first point on the list, 0, 0, 0, 0. All the others are listed as null here and are included as points in the false list. Add a clean multilist node and connect the true multilist to it. This removes all of the null points. Add both a preview and a points list displaying the path. To see how the true and false lists changed with a different expression, edit the condition to this. Now all points that have either c equals 1 or i equals 2 appear in the true list.